Okay, it seems like for all the times I have taught this that I have um, sent people uh, an MP3 version of it that I used to teach from, but now we're in the YouTube era, so let's learn when Cries Mary solo, huh? Um, kind of the entire point of this, uh, if you learn structure from me, scales, you're probably most accustomed to picturing stuff in A minor, C major. And then we're going to kind of outline what, what Jimmy does in this solo. It's a lot of, like, here's a C chord. It might be, um, my, I have a seventh fret double dot. So yeah, you know, lots of things based around using this shape. and which is pentatonic too, and then dropping back into our our traditional here I am fingering these and then things on the main blues box. So actually the entire solo is that. Um the changes go F, E flat, B flat three times. I'm gonna play the whole thing just so we can get a feel for where we are in the world. Let's pretend that was the third one. Seven. And then it's just the F. And then it goes back to the verse, which is C, B flat, F. And there's really cool stuff that he plays in the verse, but we're looking at the solo. Anyway, um, so 130 in the song is where I'm starting to actually play the solo. So we go, here's F, here's F, here's here's where we are. So there's our first one. And then we go back into our main box by means of a slide that sounds like two notes. What's cool there is we get two note hammer on and single note hammer on for the same note. Those are things we don't do enough. Um, yeah, so there's the whole first thing is. does um so you know get good at that and the next several the next two start with that same the next one is um so there's our next one third one and there's rest 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 stress this next riff, I'm going to recommend that you learn it at the 3rd fret and the 15th fret. Because, you know, it's just worth recognizing that, I, I, that, you know, it's the same to go like we did in the first phrasing. And rather, you know, there's G. So that's what happens now is the... And the song goes to B flat, and we've got the down, 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 go down, up, down, 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 up, down, and then it's C sharp, and he plays a really traditional blues lick. He goes, which speaks to why we always keep our index planted there, and then bread and butter. So. There's what he does. So uh, putting those two together, it's... Then it goes back to F. Then it's... Um... So that... And then we have that same... And he actually uses a diatonic note right there as in, in like a foreign art that starts on the sixth for three finger minor. Um, there it is. So and that's up down. So excuse me. Okay, cool. So at 4.45-ish, I'm going to do the whole solo. Um, I would play along with the CD, but just here we are. Three, four.
so try to get to the point where you can play it um, along with the CD, but as always, you know, finish in small sections and um, don't include rhythm until you need to. If it's giving you difficulty, just slow down, think about the phrasing, conscious part, memorizing, and then the feel part. I'm playing it. Enjoy.